Hello guys, welcome to or welcome back to the channel. So today I'm just gonna ask the question Should you still be playing Red Dead Redemption 2 in 2024? What are the pros and cons of still playing or coming back to or only just starting Red Dead Redemption 2? What six years later? There or thereabouts. It has got pros, it has got cons. But here's my thoughts. So, before we get into any of that, let's just all admit, Red Dead Redemption 2 is a masterpiece. There isn't a game out there with a story as good as this, or characters as well-rounded and well-built as this. Even, like... A good vast majority of the NPCs have all got their own little backstories. Do you know what I mean? And with with news of the um, Red Dead Two remastered coming next year, I mean, look at it. Does it really need a remaster? No. But are we excited to see just how much better they can make it look with the remaster? Yes. Most definitely. So, like I said, Red Dead 2 isn't, is a masterpiece. Sorry, almost said it isn't then. But there are, like I say, there are cons to it as well. And the biggest cons, the biggest disappointments of playing Red Dead Redemption now in 2024. And like I said, I played this on release, and I think I played through twice. I did just run through it the first time, got high on it, finished the game, didn't bother with all the little side missions what I've been doing this time, and I finished it with high on it. Second time, I ran through it again, did it with low on it. So I have played, this is like my third playthrough now. I'm like 400 hours or something. Um, so yeah, like I say, it is it is the best game in a generation. It's visually beautiful. I mean, people say Ubisoft always smash it with the scenery and stuff in Assassin's Creed. I mean, if Ubisoft smash it, what's this? Do you know what I mean? Ubisoft could not touch Red Dead Redemption 2. Visually. Don't care what you say. But like I said, let's get into let's get back on track now. So the the biggest disappointments to coming back and playing this in 2024 has been the disappointment that even the most die-hard fans will say, yeah, that is one of the things that makes me debate playing it again. They'll still play it again, the die-hard fans, but this one thing will make them debate it, and that is there has been no expansions, no DLCs, no extra content. There's been nothing. It's had updates, I think, six, four or six months ago that fixed problems. That have been there since day one. Do you know what I mean? Like getting stuck in a barn or something. I've seen some of them doing. Um, there's been... It's like... They released this. GTA 5 Online started. They, they tried the online for this. And then they've abandoned it. I mean there's still play, people playing online. I don't particularly like playing online games. Um. Just me. I like to just get it, find a good game with a good story and good characters and play that. I'm not a big online player. Never have been. Probably never will be. But that's just me. Um, yeah, but that is the biggest downside to coming back to Red Dead Redemption 2 six years later in 2024. There has been absolutely no extra content, no expansions. And which makes no sense really 
because there's glitches where you can get to Canada, there's a glitch where you can get to Mexico. So you'd have thought if the glitch was there, if if the landscape's already there, it might be barren apart from the odd thing or two. Do you know what I mean? If you go to Canada, the animals don't actually move. Do you know what I mean? If you go to Mexico, there's only one building you can go to. I can't even remember what it's called. But Canada and Mexico, we're there. They are there. I'm gonna find I'm gonna find the glitch and I'll do the glitch for both of them in a video in a couple of weeks. Because I've already block recorded loads to just release one every Friday. Um Yeah, but Canada and Mexico, they're already there. They're just outside the map and you can't get to them without the glitches. So they must have had like they must have had a thought of do you know what? We'll put these there because we'll expand it. We'll give the fans some DLCs. We'll give them a little bit more to play with. Do you know what I mean? Not that the game. The game in itself is vast. Do you know what I mean? It is a brilliant... It's it's not too long. It's not too short. Do you know what I mean? It's no Assassin's Creed Odyssey or Valhalla lengthwise. Do you know what I mean? With all the DLCs. But if you had DLCs, it might be a bit longer. Well, it would be a bit longer, but it might be closer to one of them. But that is the only downside to coming back and playing this six years later. That there still hasn't been any DLC or expansion packs for it. When we know Mexico and Canada are there just outside the map. It makes no sense. To just they, they started pushing for the online because they seen how much of a cash cow GTA Five Online is, and that's the only reason that we haven't had expansions for this is because all the focus has been on the GTA Five Online and then obviously GTA Six, which I I don't get myself. Do you know what I mean? That purely because probably because even I'm not an online gamer. I don't like online gaming. It just bores me. I don't know why. It just does. Um. But let's say yeah, that is the only downside to coming back to twenty in, to this game in twenty twenty four that there has never been any DLCs, any expansions, nothing. I mean, we got. The prologue with John. Now, if they wanted to throw a little DLC in, we all know Sadie was going bounty hunting. They could have just put a little four or five hour DLC in, going bounty hunting as Sadie. There's a few options they could have had, but they just didn't do it. Um, and like I say, that's the only downside. The game is still visually better the 99.9% of the garbage that's been coming out more recently. Visually better than all of them. The story's better than all of them. Well, let's say 99.9% .9 of them. And it's still just as enjoyable. I mean, if you want to come back and try something different, then if you went for high on it on your first playthrough, then if you want to come back, go for low on it. Just start killing everyone. Don't help no one. Do whatever it takes to get low on it. That's what I did. First playthrough, high on it. Second playthrough, low on it. This playthrough, I'm just I'm doing a bit of both at the minute, if I'm being honest. I'll help some people, I won't help other people. But I'm mainly looking for the hunting stuff, as I've done with the Assassin's Creed games. Hunting the weapons, finding gold bars, little loot stashes, stuff like that. Um. yeah so I asked the question is it worth coming back and playing Red Dead Redemption 2 in 2024 and even with that big massive disappointment of never having any DLCs or nothing I'd say yeah like I said the game itself even before we get the remaster next year is still visually and story wise 
better than 99.9% 99 of the garbage that's come out in the past five years. Everything has been not even close to Red Dead Redemption 2. And you all know me, I'm a massive Assassin's Creed fan, or at least I was. I don't think I'm going to be that for much longer. Um, there's only one game that someone told me the other day is, in their eyes, on par, story-wise and visuals-wise, with Red Dead Redemption 2. And I haven't got round to playing it yet, but maybe I will do in a couple of weeks. And that is the new Black Myth Wukong, or Wukong, whatever it is. Um, one of the lads said that is in his eyes, and he's a massive RTR fan. And he said it is on par with Red Dead Redemption 2. So, I mean, he's been playing Red Dead Redemption 2 for six years. When he got his PS Portal, that was it. That was him in his cab doing overnighters, just playing Red Dead Redemption 2 when he should be sleeping because he's got an eight-hour drive the next day. Do you know what I mean? But, yeah, I'll get around to playing that at some point. So, should you play Red Dead Redemption 2 in 2024? Yeah, definitely. If you want to do something a bit different, if you want to spice it up a little bit, like I say, if you played it the first time and went low on, high on it, play it the second time and, time and go for low on it. And watch videos of mine where I'm hunting down all the stuff or there's other bigger YouTube channels who've been playing this for six years that'll show you where all the best loot is where all the gold bars are where and how to get the best weapons um, and just, just change it up just do that do a bit of hunting do a bit of your bounty hunting, go fishing, go get all the legendary animals, that's what I'm doing at the minute, going through, finding all the legendary animals, and compiling them all in one video, which is going to be one hell of a video in all fairness. But yeah, this was just a little ramble, because the question came to me the other day, someone said, um, why are you still playing a game, this game, six years old? And the answer to that is because all the games that have come out after this have been absolute garbage. So, I asked the question a couple of months back, is playing older games the only way to start enjoying gaming again? And clearly the answer is yes. And you don't even have to buy it. If you're on Xbox, whatever it's called, Season Pass, or if you're on PlayStation Network with the Platinum or Gold, whatever it is, then you get it for free to download. I'm not sure if it's still on PlayStation at the minute, but it was a couple of months back. But luckily enough, I missed it. But I had the disc version anyway. That's the good thing about having the disc versions of everything. Um. So, that was, like I say, that was just a little rant off a question I got asked the other day. So, the question got put in my head, and I thought I'd do a video about it. So, there we go. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've found this helpful. And if you haven't done already, please don't, don't be afraid to subscribe. Like I say, if you don't like what I'm doing in a couple of weeks, you can always take it back. Same with them thumbs up. You can always take it back at the end of the video if you don't like it. Um, that's been me, I've been CJ, this is CJ Games, and I'll catch you.